I graduated in 83, I started working for a, um, a large company in Hunt Valley, uh, Westinghouse Defense and Electronics. I did sales and marketing for them for five years, traveled all over the country, and decided I wanted to do, I wanted to stay local, I didn't like to travel, and I wanted to open my own business. So I ended up uh, buying someone out in the picture frame business, and I've been doing that ever since. The company is uh, Picture Perfect, it's in Towson. Uh, we do a lot of neat stuff for a lot of uh, great clients, uh, uh, the Ravens and the Orioles. Uh, we do a lot of hotel work and restaurants around town, uh, a lot of individuals as well. So you don't have to have a big uh, a project to, to use our services. I was always connected to the school. Uh, I have become much more con connected in the last 10 to 15 years, but uh, I think we did some stuff like right out of the shoot. Somebody referred me and I don't even remember what coach, it might have been Dick Filbert from gymnastics I think was the first guy to use reach out to me. Then I got really active on the, uh, the, the uh, Tiger Club board and, I, and that was probably 20 years ago um, and I did that for about seven or eight years and uh, helped develop the, the golf tournament that, that I helped run this year, the, the Black and Gold Invitational. I learned real early in my uh, capacity as a framer, a picture framer, that uh, you can really enhance uh, uh, auctions. So I'm on the board of directors of uh, Cystic Fibrosis Foundation, and I have been since I've had the business or just just after uh, opening the business. And I learned real quick that you know they loved what I did for them uh, because I could actually provide these services to help them at auction to take a print or a poster or a jersey, frame it really nice, either donate it or discount it heavily, so then they can make a profit for their foundation. So. When I going back to uh, when we I got involved in the Black and Gold Invitational, I decided I'll use the same theory with Towson. You don't quite get it when you're running through it. You know, when you're the four years that you're here, it's pretty quick. But when you have two children and and they're both one is finishing his career and the other is just starting, you kind of have a lot of the memories kind of come back. And it was just it, it was great because this was the first time I was on my own. Uh, you know, living. Uh, with a bunch of guys and trying to figure out, you know, what was right, what was wrong, trying to you know, do the study, but do the social stuff, and, and Towson offered all that, and it was a, a great, great experience. So to give back, uh, I don't, I don't, I'm not loaded with money, so I can't cut big checks, but I figured I could get involved and, and help uh, in other ways, and uh, donating some of my services and product um, and my contacts to try to help, you know, Towson grow. Playing in the CAA is very. Uh, challenging, very tough uh, conference, and I think we need lots of money to try to help compete with these better teams uh, as far as more scholarship money and, and enhancement to facilities and all that takes a lot of money. So anything I can do, I know it's small, but I, I, I enjoy doing it and, uh, and I'm glad I can do it.